All right, we're going to go on a trip today. Uh, let's go and visit my silkworm farm. These are my living quarters. You know, silkworm farms require to have temperature regulations. You know, with like South Wales, England climate. Project one when owning a silk farm is a uh, find and master the perfect lifestyle for the silkworm's existence you know find everything they need here here's a sheet right check mark registry Learn. Are healthy, happy animals, do they make better eggs? Uh, six football size root structure for the worms. Six food variation tests for better quality silk. Uh, they usually eat white mulberry leaves. Um, the wine cellar, check oceanic and elevation swells for soil nutrition, have people to pick it up, you know, like a you need how you they they cocoon and once they go and get out of the cocoon that's when that's their silk their cocoon is the silk uh take the new vacant cocoon to be dried and aired out after this you can start making wardrobes suit tie socks uh, suspenders, shirts, shorts, sweats, long johns, beddings, curtains, anything else needed. You know, we, we can make it all. You know, these things produce it every... Oh, and you can go from thin and smooth, any color possible, doubling strength for warmth, you know, getting the thicker, you know, that's what we're really, we got two objective here, one is to get it thicker, and two is to get to make fur. We're trying to save the minks and using a silk that's put outwards like regular fur, we might be able to work on something. Um, yep, that's it. Yeah. Uh, I mean, once we get fur, we got everything. considering you know we could do it for a lot cheaper well that was my silkworm farm and how you know all the tests and things I have to do to 
make it profitable when it's more what's that other word to make it the best it can be you know to make it optimal 